Okay, so we're preparing to install our camshaft and um, you want to make sure your camshaft pin up here on the top is already installed and you want to make sure you have the right one in there you need so usually cams come with a few of them but I needed this length because that's what came out of the motor originally. Um, what I also do before I install these cams is I blow them all off with compressed air to make sure I get all the machining debris off of them but what I also do is go around the edge of these lobes with a file very fine file and take off any uh, any burrs because when you slide your cam in there those are going to scratch your cam bearings that you just put in and uh, it's really not what you want so we're going to go ahead and lube this up here and I use this uh, this high pressure assembly, assembly lubricant on all these lobes because um, it's a uh, flat top of cams are metal on metal so they uh, and they're under quite a bit of pressure so you need a good oil compound when you're breaking them in so you don't wipe your lobes and we're going to go ahead and install this camshaft before we install the crank or anything else because that uh, it's the easiest to do at that time and you can really get your hands down inside the motor to guide it in. So I'm going to get these all oiled up here and then we're going to slide the cam in there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and install the cam here. And um, a lot of people like to have a bolt in the end of their cam to help guide it, but since I don't have any pistons or anything of that nature and to get in my way, move this table out of the way here really quick, I can just put my hands down inside the motor and guide it, but don't need to do that until we're pretty far along here. So you want to be real gentle and real easy. You don't really want to scrape those lobes along the bearings if you can help it. So a little more difficult because I got the uh, engine facing the camera here, so it's not straight up with my line of sight, but basically if you get hung up, you don't want to force it. You want to go just real easy. And grab some oil here because I missed putting oil on my distributor gear. Don't want to forget that one. That's pretty high friction. So definitely use a quite a hefty amount of um, assembly lube on this on the camshaft here so can't hurt it by having too much I'd rather err on the side of too much than too little on this particular part so when we're getting to about this stage of the game it gets a little more tricky and it helps if you can kind of have a hand in there to help guide it so you gotta kind of get creative again you don't want to force anything so just want to guide it nice and easy so there it is when you get your cam installed you want to make sure that it spins freely and easily so with this uh, molly graphite I got quite a bit of drag but you can see here that I can easily rotate it with my hand easily rotate it here without a problem so everything looks good and we're ready to uh, move on to installing the crankshaft okay you don't want to forget to install your uh, cam plate here it uh, mounts right here over the camshaft and uh, most of these modern ones have a little oil drilling um, slot in them and uh, they face the camshaft usually the part is you is labeled so you can't screw this up but if it's not labeled um, that little slot there will face the camshaft and it will line up with an oiling hole as we see right here so um, these torque to 10 foot-pounds 
and it's always recommended that you use uh, some Loctite on the bolts to make sure that they um, stay torqued down since they're under such a small amount of torque. So basically with Loctite, got any in there? I'm just going to get just a little bit on these threads here and then just work it together. You want to make sure that your threads are nice and clean. So we're going to just rub that together and get that on the threads. And we'll go ahead and install our plate. And I put a little grease on here because the cam is going to be bumping up against that. So. And then I'm just going to, usually you go in a three step process, and these are 7 16 bolts, but I'm going to go, um, you can just kind of feel them, I'm just going to go a little bit at a time until I get to the torque, so we'll go ahead and get that done. So we'll just go a little bit at a time here. Clicking off there. And there you have it. Camshaft is done.